Hi class, in this search demonstration I will search for news in library databases and show you some of the common tools found in databases for citation. First, we will take a look at using several news databases that are available to search at once using the EBSCO search platform. Then, we will look at how to capture citation information using the citation tool. To access CSM library databases, navigate to the home page of the CSM library website. A full list of databases is two clicks away. First, select the link for articles and databases found on either the quick links menu or the I would like to find menu. Once there, click the link for all databases A to Z. which leads to an alphabetical listing of databases and other online search systems and tools available when using your library card. If you haven't already, it is time to get your library card so you can access CSM's online resources. This list of databases is useful if you want to review and compare databases or you know exactly what database you need to search. Since we are using specific databases for this demonstration, we will start here. However, it is worth it to explore the library website to discover what is available to you. First, we will use the EBSCO search platform to search four news databases at once. The EBSCO news database searches the following databases. Newspaper Source Plus, Newswires, Regional Business News, and Web News. Once you've navigated to EBSCO's search system, you can view what databases you are viewing by expanding the Show All button under Searching. Here it shows we're searching Newspaper Source Plus, Newswires, Regional Business News, and Web News. In fact, you can search all of the EBSCO databases that the library subscribes to at once if you want. To do so, click the Choose Databases link and select the databases you want to search from that list. For now, since we are searching for news, I will limit my database selections to the four news databases we already have selected. That said, some of the other databases do contain news information in addition to other types of content. For now, for now, though, we are searching for news. These library databases are acting as a news aggregator by giving us search results from many different news sources. To demonstrate, I'll search for news about Kendrick Lamar. I'm doing a simple keyword search and typing his name into one of the search boxes that are available. As you can see, I've got nearly 3,000 search results. Of note, not all of these databases work the same way. Articles found in the Web News database link directly out to the news website. Click the headline for one of these articles and you are on the news publisher's website. Other news databases like Newspaper Source Plus 
provide you with a detailed record stored in the database. This gives you metadata about the article, including details needed for a citation. In fact, when there is a detailed record available, you can even use EBSCO's citation tool to auto-generate one for you in APA style. Take a close look at the citation the database generated. There are errors in it. This is a common problem. Anytime you use a citation generator tool, you should proofread the citation and double check for errors. In this citation, the capitalization of words in the article title is incorrect. And a link is missing to the article. If you use this citation as is, it is incorrect, and you may be penalized by an instructor. Instead, you should correct the formatting and add the missing information. I'll get started by adding the information I have to my working reference list in Google Docs. When I paste it into the document, it has retained formatting from EBSCO. It is in a different font and has a different background color than my document, bummer. To avoid this, I will paste it without formatting, and then proofread it and adjust the formatting as needed. First, I will grab the URL that is missing from the citation. In the databases, I look for the option for permalink. This is a stable URL. Do not grab the link from your browser when searching the database. They frequently break after your search session ends. Instead, use the link provided by the database or citation tool. Now that that has been added, I can proofread the citation. As I proofread this citation, I can see there are other errors. The author of the article is Ken Tucker. Ken is the first name and Tucker is the last name. However, the database has his name listed in reverse in the citation. I'll have to correct it in my citation so it correctly lists Tucker, comma, K, period, as the author. I also notice that the document type is transcript. As I skim the article, it also becomes clear that this is a music review. 
I'll have to figure out how to work that into my citation. It turns out that Fresh Air is a radio program and podcast. This means I should figure out how to cite a review transcript from a radio podcast. Because news comes in all formats, audio, video, text, etc., when citing news sources, you must pay attention to detail in order to get it right. Nobody can memorize all of the rules of APA-style citations. It is too detailed and really impossible. Instead, be prepared to look up the rules for the information you need to cite. In this case, I can go to the Purdue OWLS APA guide page for reference lists and electronic sources. In order to find the information I need, I find guidance for use of transcripts, for podcasts, and more. As a result, I am able to come up with a citation that meets my needs. Here is the citation that I came up with um, for the article uh, and corrected. And um, uh, you can see that the name is in the correct order, um, uh, the date is there, uh, the article has had the capitalization uh, cor issues corrected, I've added information at the end of the title of the article um, indicating that this is a review transcript. I'm still showing that the, the, the transcript is from an episode of Fresh Air on NPR, and I provide the uh, URL from the database uh, where I retrieved the article transcript from. So I, I found what I need needed, but it did take some doing. Keep in mind, not all citations are as tricky as the one we just looked at together. However, you need to be prepared to format complicated information when doing college level work. Because it takes time to do this, plan ahead so you have enough time to finish by your due date. Now, back to our search results. You can see we have over 2,000 search results. Oh, hang on. I've just deselected the um, database link so that we're looking again at all three databases. You can see that there are nearly 3,000 search results. Um, one of the nice things about library databases is that they often provide filtering tools um, that help you focus your search a bit more. They weed out results that do not meet the criteria for your research project. In a sense, this helps you to begin to evaluate and assess your search results and how well they meet your needs. For example, we need to evaluate for currency and make a decision about what date our information needs to be for this project. If I want information about his Pulitzer Prize, I need very recent information. However, if I want information about his earlier work and projects, I might want to include results from earlier dates. As you refine your search results, adjust your date range so it corresponds to your research needs. For this search, I'll change it so that I'm searching the year 2018 only.
now I have less than 500 search results instead of nearly 3,000. All about Kendrick Lamar. Additional options for refining and filtering your search results are subject, This is related to the relevance of the search. Additionally, there is publication and publisher information. These are related to the authority of your sources um, and potentially the purpose or bias of your sources. As you can see, filtering your search results in library databases can help you identify sources that better meet your needs. Finally, I've already pointed out the citation tool in the database. However, there are additional tools that are useful, like emailing the article citation so you have the information handy later and more. See what database tools might be useful for you. Of note, most library databases have similar filtering options and tools. However, each database is designed a little differently, so you should explore the search system you are using to learn how it works. Please let me know any questions you have about searching the databases. Thank you!